Good morning and welcome to Northwest Indiana and Purdue University Calumet. It's most appropriate that a discussion of the status of sediment remediation projects on the Grand Calumet River is being held at the Water Institute of Purdue University Calumet. The Institute conducts research and offers educational programs in water resources and assists local, regional, and state agencies as well as the private sector. It does exceptional work on resolving issues such as water efficiency, water quality, and water security. I additionally want to thank Scott Ireland for leading today's discussion. Too often, the Environmental Protection Agency has been cast as a job killer. Their work, in conjunction with the work of so many others, including those in this room, gives lie to that statement. The EPA has improved the health and safety of our affected communities and laid the foundation for new investment and new good paying jobs. I also appreciate the emphasis each of you place on environmental stewardship. Cleaning our impaired waterways is essential and will prove beneficial to our collective efforts to strengthen and diversify our regional economy. I share your values and concerns and would suggest restoring the Grand Calumet River is one of the most important initiatives currently undertaken that can advance our common goals. We must be urgent about its completion. I fear that if our landscape continues to be marred by a lifeless waterway, we will continue to lose the youth of our region and their talent and vibrant energy. On September 12th, I told the State Legislative Study Committee that since 1970, the population of Lake County has declined by 9.2%. Our median annual income is 12.9% lower, and our median age has increased by 42.3%. Completing the restoration of the Grand Calumet River is essential if we are going to reverse these trends and instead encourage talented young people to stay and move to our corner of Indiana. I am heartened that we are making progress. A little more than a year ago, I had the opportunity to join representatives from federal and state agencies, as well as the public, to celebrate the completion of dredging and restoration activities in Roxana Marsh. To see lifeless areas previously spoiled by a century of industrial activity receive the attention and investment they sorely deserve was inspiring. Where once there was no life, today wildlife is migrating back and the quality of life for the residents living in this area has been improved. This and much other good work has been done, but we must now be insistent and diligent in completing the task at hand. That is why you have my sincere gratitude for your attendance today and for bringing your unique talents to bear to complete this job. I urge you to take the knowledge you gain today and aggressively apply it to our remaining problems so that the entire river can be restored to life and the region renewed. Good luck, and please let me know how I can help.